In this video, I'm going to be sharing one of the few letters that change pronunciation from Fusha or MSA into dialect. This is very important because if you studied MSA or Fusha and you're now transitioning into dialect, this is good to know because you're going to start hearing different, pronunciation, different pronunciations and sounds for each letter. Not each letter, but specific letters, okay? In this video, I'm going to walk you through one of these letters and how pronunciation could change, okay? If you're brand new to Arabic, make sure to check out the free mini course. Link is in the bio description. Let's get into the video. Okay, so like I said, certain letters in Arabic can change pronunciation once we bring them into dialect or in, in spoken dialect. Some letters, how they're pronounced, how, they're, how they sound, uh, could change, okay? Now, I'm going to walk you through one of these letters which is the letter dal. Dal makes a th th sound like 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 in the word the, okay? <clears throat> and I, I say like in the word the because we have a th in English, there's another th like in three that makes a th sound. That's actually another letter in Arabic, like we make that distinction between the 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 sound and the th sound, okay? But anyway, today we're going to focus just on the the sound from half dal, okay? Real quick, another video, another video, another uh, Another letter that changes, a big one, a very important one that changes from Fusha to dialect is the Qaf. The Qaf in dialect typically becomes a glottal stop, a uh, or ga, and a ult or gult. So ana qult in Fusha, MSA, comes ana gult or ult. There's a, more, there's, a, there's a more detailed video here just about the Qaf. Make sure to check that out. Now, about the Dal, I'm going to show you guys a few examples. So the, the authentic and real and original pronunciation of this in Fusha, okay, is the, the, okay? Just like, again, like the word the in English. In dialect, this sometimes changes to z. Don't ask me why, this is just how it is. In certain Levantine dialects, this change, or I would say a lot of them, majority of Levantine, the, the changes to a z in certain words. Um, so I'm going to point out some of these words and a lot of words that have the in dialect change. So this video, again, we're focusing on that. So let's take a look. First, we have the word إِذَا, which means if, إِذَا. In dialect, we pronounce it إِذَا, إِذَا. Again, not necessarily every person in Levant or every area in the Levant, they pronounce, they change this, but this change does occur in a lot of places in the Levant. So and I'm pointing this out so that if you hear, if you hear with a za, you don't say like, oh, what is this? This is how it is. The za changes to a za, a za in dialect, a za sound. The key, the key or the key, uh, in Ammiya, which means smart, that means smart or clever, um, Zaki in Ammiya. In Ammiya, we could say Zaki or Zaki. Again, the, you could preserve the that, but also you're going to hear a lot of people say Zaki. How does Zaki feel? Zaki, oh, Shab Zaki. Or Zaki Ye. Okay? Essentially, it's Zaki originally, but again, dialect could be Zaki. Another one, remember, Tadakkar. This is an MSA, Tadakkar. Um, in Ammiya, you could pronounce Dakar, Dakar, but in also dialect, you could hear Zakar with a Z sound. Zakar. Remember, Zakar, 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 and then the Krayat, the Krayat, memories, the Krayat. Dialect, the Krayat, the Krayat. You, you will hear people say the Krayat, but also you will hear people say the Krayat. Tamam? Let me know what other letters you can think of that change from Fusha to dialect. There's a few others. I'm going to make a series of these. But for now, make sure to check out the Qaf as well, the, the video about the Qaf. This is a very crucial or main, main change from the pronunciation in Fusha to dialect. So make sure to check out that video. Let me know what other letters you've come across where you're like, oh, I thought this was pronounced this way. You're probably correct. It's, it's pronounced like this one. The right pronunciation is indeed either the original MSA pronunciation, but in dialect, like I said, things change, right? So it's important to kind of be familiar with those as well so that when you travel or when you encounter people that use these pronunciations or use these letters, how I, how I outlined, you're not like, wow, what's going on? You're aware of this change, okay? Let me know if you have any questions and let me know what other letter I should do next. I'll see you in the next video.